Hi guys, so it is currently Saturday, August 20th, 2022 at 2am. This is my last day in Canada. It just so happens that the same week I am leaving for Korea and moving out of my dorm, it's also finals week. So I finished one of my finals today and i will finish my other one tomorrow and i can't wait to be done i've been so stressed out that i feel like i haven't been able to enjoy my final week here but it's okay because later today i will be done and i will finish packing and everything and then i will be totally ready to have some new scenery be in a different place even though I love Canada and Vancouver and UBC, there has been a heat wave. Like this is like the third heat wave of the summer and it's August now. Um, and like I don't have air conditioning. People don't usually have air conditioning here. So yeah, it makes me even more excited to go to Korea. Okay, so it is haul time. Sorry I didn't vlog earlier. I went, I was running around and buying so much stuff and I went to so many different stores and I was really stressed out so I didn't vlog. But here's the haul. Also, I'm sweating so much in my uh, like hostel room. Okay, first item from E-Mart. I love this. Jeonju Pibimbap Kimbap. Or Jeonju Pibim Kimbap. And it was like two dollars maybe. Got this shampoo and conditioner because it was the cheapest I could find for now because I couldn't find the brand that I want. So we will look for that later, but I really wanted to take a shower tonight. Another water, sparkling water green apple flavor. The best Tecum Daikon candy from Daiso. Chongkudo jelly, perfect whip for my face, a mask. Good morning! It is 7 a.m. and I have been up for an hour, so I will start my day die with some sparkling water. Definitely thinking I need to buy an umbrella today because last night I had to run out late at night for a toothpaste and it was raining. Anyways, this morning I'm gonna try to get some breakfast. Uh, I have to go get my COVID test. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then run some errands, hang out with my friends, might go to Ikea and or Coex and or Myeongdong. We shall see where the day takes us.
So I had a super long, crazy, eventful day with my friends. But before I get ready for bed, I was just gonna show you my quick haul. So I got this perfect serum, hair serum at Olivia. I got some foundation cushion uh, from A2 Dots. This mask came with it. These, these are black sugar milk tea almonds and they slap so hard. 10 out of 10 recommend. Also got an umbrella because it rained on me last night. This doesn't really count, but we took such cute pictures. Anyways, we took our COVID test this morning and they came back within 24 hours. Um, took them at around 10 a.m. And I think we got them back at like nine or something. So that was pretty good. And yeah, I'm gonna go shower now and go to sleep. Got some boksuma something something, mochi something. Had a fun trip to Daiso and Art Box, and I walked so much and it was all up a hill and I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I took the scenic route, but here's the haul. Okay, so haul time. First of all, I got a charger from Daiso just for five bucks. I was looking for one with two holes. Soap, Changporo flavor, green grape, in other words. Got another mask, some scissors because I figured I'd need them eventually, cards, and a towel because I couldn't find any like regular sized towels so I only found like a face sized towel. Shower shoes, hopefully they fit. Mouthwash from Daiso. These mints that I love so much, I was so surprised to see them from Artbox. It is just some body wash from Daiso. <laughs> guys so today i think i'm going to go to coex with some of my friends from my home school not home school my my school back in canada seems like we're gonna do a bunch of fun things hopefully so 
<clears throat> look forward to the adventure. The famous mall. Wow. What? It is time for another haul. I got a big thing of toilet paper. Finally found some at Daiso. Some pens for my friends. From Muji. Some Omi Berry Sparkling Juice from Muji. And then probably the most exciting thing I got is this Korean book. Hangugawa, Hanguk Munhwa. Yeah, so I just thought it would be useful because it teaches a lot of daily things, especially compared to textbooks I'm used to. Like, seems to have a lot more useful content. Yeah, so I thought it'd be good review. The placement test for Yonsei's uh, Korean Language Institute is coming up like next week. I think it's on September 2nd. So I have been studying a little bit for that uh, just to make sure that I will do the best that I can possibly do because I really want to get into level four for credit reasons. Um, and like, I think maybe I'll be okay possibly because I finished 300 level Korean um, back at my home school, but yeah, I guess we shall see how difficult it is and how nervous I am because I am quite a nervous tester, especially like speaking tests and I have no idea what to really expect. So yeah, hopefully if I get placed into a too low of a level, I can ask them um, if I can go up. But yeah, that's why I've been working on Korean before I start the classes. On camera, on camera. That class is kind of mid because I don't know it's like way too long it just feels so long every time like two hours it's not that long but it feels so long and like maybe it's also the fact that I can't see the screen I don't know that classroom is not it there's not enough desks for the amount of students in the class so like there's like 20 students in the class every time that don't have a desk just have like a chair the class would be okay if it, if I could do it like virtually. The teacher's really nice, 
but it is hard to pay attention. Anyways, there is very exciting new bakery that opened in the dorm. So today was like opening day. day I got this thing and then this huge milk tea huge milk tea that was only like 3500 maybe not the healthiest choice but that's okay yolo i've just been wasting time in my room but i think i'm going to take a shower and then go run my errands because my prepaid sim card is i think today's the last day i can use it so i guess i'll go to chingu mobile and get a new phone plan because they have like the cheapest phone plans and a lot of my friends have gotten those ones. They seem pretty good. Oh yeah, and then I'm going to like SBS, the show, which is like a like K-pop music show. Um, you can get tickets on that if you're a foreigner. You can get tickets for it on um, websites like Trazy. That will be exciting. My first time going to a Korean music show. Took way longer than expected, but now I have my new SIM card, so I don't have to worry about that anymore until I leave again. So now I just have to hurry to the train station. Thank you. 